This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so here uh, we are going to learn about how do we analyze the data, uh, machine data with data.org. When is okay? Sorry, I think I open up wrong slides. That's a good idea. That's so. Uh, let me check. Mm. Yeah, now it's correct. Yeah. So from here. So today we are going to understand the log analysis process uh, with with Datadog. So for that, I'll use different slides and then come back to the slides, which is here. So yeah, this is the one. So analyzing the logs, which is called log analysis. So first session, first part of the session, which we spend most of the time with the infrastructure collections. Then we understand the APM, and then uh, we are uh, we are trying to understand the log analysis today. So the question is, what is log? What is log? What is log? So guys, anything we do with the machine, it's log basically anything whether you click on the website it generator logs system generator logs network generator log firewall generator log so anything which is running with the help of cpu and ram is generating a logs or can generate logs and we want to analyze all these logs so logs uh, is nothing but a record related to whatever the activities are occurring on an information system so this is a log now, log account machine data is everywhere. In fact, you are generating right now while seeing my screen. And there are different sources of logs are there. For example, IDs, firewall, anti-malware, proxies, network infrastructure, servers, databases, application, many sources. So machine data and log, yeah, data generated by machines, computer processing, applications, and sensor data that is called machine data. So what log I'm talking about? Yes, I'm talking about the server logs and workstation logs, uh, logs from Linux machine, Windows machine, log file, access log file, file system log files. I'm talking about the network related logs like firewall logs, warning logs, alert logs, IP addresses logs. I'm talking about the, in terms of database audit logs, configuration logs, schemas logs, table logs, queries logs. I'm talking about the web transaction logs, click stream logs, location logs, browser logs, yeah? So there are so many places where we have a logs in terms of DevOps, test logs, log 4G alerts, event logs, port checking, and stuff like that. IoT logs like GPS logs, RFID logs, biometric uh, logs, biometric logs, temperature logs, limitless, and stuff like that. So yes, uh, security is also one of the fastest growing sector in IT and that's where also we do the log analysis for the security region. IoT also generate lots of log. So we understand that what is logs and what are the different sources of logs, but why it is important. I think more or less we understand that why it is important. We want to analyze the logs because of production monitoring, we want to analyze the log because of debugging purpose. We want to analyze the loss log because we want to check the resource uses. We want to check the HTTP errors in the log, slow queries, rogue automate, automated robots, security issues. So all these things uh, we want to check. But where? So we want to check in the logs. So that is something which why we are trying to set up a uh, log analysis. Many times you want to track your website site platform visitors also. You want to see that whether security threat discovery, predicting the security issues and all log analysis is important. You want to you want to get fetch more information about the network and infrastructure. Okay. So many many regions are there. Many there are many objectives are there. <clears throat> For that you are doing the log analysis. 
now next thing is okay fine let's say you capture the logs you have stored in the logs you have stored in the somewhere some tools like a data log okay so what you are going to do with that after the storage what you want to do with it logs so what kind of changes you may look for in the logs again this is a very conditional question why because uh, you have a logs for the servers you have a logs for the infrastructure you have a log for the network you have a logs for the apps all the different different tools and stuff at one place what you want to look for it depends on your objective but some of the things which you can use it from the slides to get started for example if you want to analyze the logs look for the the logs line where the password got changed unauthorized login has happened login failures are there there's a new login event from the unknown territory malware detection look for the logs where the scan uh, the firewalls and open and close port look for the logs for the ddos attack look for the log for the errors on network devices file name changes file integrity changes data exported new process started or running process stopped share access events and many more so yeah depends on the what you want to search for in the logs you you may get into that part so next thing is okay when you look at the log what are the common field you see in the each logs again this is a very conditional question because the log formats may differ depends on the whether it's from the system linux windows network apache tomcat you know some your custom application or or different different things the format may differ but some of the common fields you may get it in each every lines of the log and that is like maybe time source destination protocol ports username events and so on. so these are the common fields in this now so we understood this part also now the question is what are the best practices for the log analysis now nowadays this best practice is nothing but uh, uh, nothing but uh, uh, is embedded in the tool itself okay so best practices is that one only so pattern detection and recognition so this is the one feature any tool which you are using it either you have to do manually or you have to uh, do it uh, through the tools so pattern detection and recognition that means the tool which you are using the tool should be having the pattern detection that means there are millions of log but i want to know the out of millions of log which is the log of apache that's the pattern which is the log of tomcat which is the log of my application so that pattern detection you should be having it and log uh, and uh, data log it has it okay normalization normalization means your tool should help you to normalize your log data for example normalization means if i put it in a simple way let's say there is a apache log from india and apache log for us same application you are running the application cross region so in india the logs the time format will be in ist in us the time format probably in will be in est or tst so the question is we are going to store all this log at one place how do we create a common time format so while searching the results will be meaningful and that's where the normalization required actually and normalizations which many of the tools you'll have a built in functionality and which you can use and get the great amount of processing that now next thing is correlation analysis correlation analysis means see if you look at the app server millions of lines you have in that if you look at the web server millions of lines you have if you look at the database server millions of logs lines you will have so the question is which line of the log in web server is belong to the lines of log in app server of that particular user and then same logs for the database server how do we correlate that's called correlation analysis so most of the tools you should be having this one correlation analysis and data log will help you in that categories also and artificial ignoring then there are lines some some lines which is not making any use i mean meaningful message actually and that tool should be able to ignore that so these are the some of the best practices for the log analysis and your tool should be having this kind of functionality so you can use it 
for the analysis purpose. These are the, some of the phases, collections of log data, cleaning of the data, data, converting into structured format, analysis of data of 10 results and so on. So what are you going to do? Generate, collect, aggregate, normalize, alert, store, baseline, and make conclusion and act on it. So these are the log analysis phases that you have. Now the question is, which are the options available for the log analysis tool? There's so many options. You have a data dog, neural links, plant, elastic search, three log, log J's and all. Many, many tools are there which can do the log analysis. So which one we are learning? We are learning as part of this session, data dog. So flow, <clears throat> the workflow is like simple ingest logs, index logs, and visualize logs. That is what we have it uh, in the data dog. So this is the things. So, so far what we understood, what we understood is, what is log? Why does log analysis is important? What are the different sources of logs? What are the best practices of the logs? What are the tools which we have for the log analysis? Any questions so far guys? Any questions so far? All of you? Am I audible, all of you? Yes. Yeah. So now next thing is, how do we get started with the log management with Datadog? So let's discuss some, some of the stuff here. So log management with Datadog we use for the rapid, rapid troubleshooting. Let me tell you here, in terms of log management, the best solution which we have right now in the market is Splunk. In fact, uh, if you're not liking Splunk, maybe ELK also, you can use it, Elasticsearch. So you must be thinking like, why we are using data log then for the log analysis? Because of, we want to set up an observability, which I discussed in the first session only. So we need a tool who can do the infra monitoring, we can do the log monitoring, we can do the API monitoring, we can do the synthetic monitoring, we can do the network monitoring, we can do the security monitoring, everything. And data dog is the right solution for everything. So here, log management feature, what you have in the data dog, helps us to achieve the full observability and everything at one place, unifying all the three pillars of observability at one place. Again, it has a seamless integration with some third party tool like Logstash, Arsyslog, Flindy, and also. You can also customize the output based on the some of the pipeline and stuff like that. And of course, you have a visualization and all that. So these are the main regions which we have in place. So for that, we do the log analysis. Next thing is, next thing is, how do we feed the data into the, how do we feed the data into the, data dog. So let's go and spend some time on each and everything one by one. So first thing I'm going to teach you how to send logs, how to teach and send you logs to the data dog manually. So these slides will help me here. So look at this here. This is the way to send the logs uh, in the system. So we are using Telnet. This is the API address for the US data center of data top is the default port, And this is my keys. So let me go for uh, data doc HQ login. And here we have a three days to left uh, for this trial. So we need to finish this stuff as soon as possible. So here, uh, otherwise I'll lose all the data which I have used it for the session. Mm, API is key. See this key has been compromised, so both are flagging leaked. I'm going to create a new one. This is for log demo. And uh, copy the key. And here you have this one. And the, the key which has been compromised I can delete this 
and this one okay so yeah wherever you have used this key you have to change it not a problem right now it's not important this is my key i'm going to change it also so now first thing is let's go to log here so you will get here log search for you will not be disabled i have a, some logs already in place uh, i use this account for a few more demos uh, in data docs so i have a few lines already in place but these are the logs which is coming also i'll show you how it's coming but my priority is to get this log done so this is this i'm customizing the message this is the demo by raj uh, on 26th august okay so these are the work i've did i've done it uh, you can label it multiple whichever you want dd source host name and blah 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 so let me run this code from any linux machine where the telnet is there or windows also telnet is not here so what do we do so install uh, it should be they are not sure why it's not there. so install telnet in centos 7 so the utility for installing the telnet in in this probably is this one let me check this and done so now i'm going to copy this code enter connected now this is the whole line i'm going to feed it and enter okay i did this after this i'll add one more line this is demo 2 done can we check now whether the log has come or not so refresh and here log has come here if you see that the user service is user here it is so here one log has come and this was here this is the this is the line you can see that mm, message this is the user service this is the source you can see that here user <coughs> sorry service user host name and source is customized here terminal sorry that is not a line of this so let's wait for it ha huh, this is the one this is the demo by raj here it is and this is the second one so this is the way you can feed manually if you want so what is the other ways to do that what are the other ways to do that so for other ways we have a curl also this is the curl also you can try let me feed this also see this curl and keys has to be updated and this is your this is a api call right now i'm not working for us 5 us it's the main one so i'll just remove it i remember that so that's the reason i'm blindly do that you can validate uh, through the website and here source tags host name message all this thing you have it here and clear the screen enter <clears throat> now let me check it out refresh and let me check still has not come you should see the message which is this one 
hello world or something like that so what is the what is the source engine x so see that here service service is payment so let it come <clears throat> it takes some few seconds to display here it is you got this so using the curl also you can send this so now you must be wondering rajesh okay fine you are showing me and the data is going all these places but where can we use this command line and tell net so basically command line like a curl and tell net you can use in the for the program actually so if you want to send some custom logs to the data dog for the processing through the applications and all you can embed this command in the programming language itself so those are things now the question is how do we get the infrastructure log network log windows log all this thing so how do we do that and that is where we need to look for the next section and that is called agent so now this is the one so sending logs to the data dog using agent yes you can use the agent also for sending a log agent can send the log in fact you know integration uh, the one which you did it apache tomcat doc uh, kubernet all this thing those also can send a logs okay so the question is how so for that let's have some of the copy things here and let's put it up here okay so first thing you have to do installing the datadog agents if you look at this machine the datadog agent is already installed which we have shown you multiple times so if you see here data is stored now the only one thing because the key i have deleted it i'm going to update the key and restart the datadog agent so etc datadog <clears throat> datadog.yaml and this key i deleted in the datadog to so not use anymore so i'm going to change this key with the with the with the key i don't know whether it's right key or not i'll just copy it and <coughs> sorry so here it is so that i copy the key saved it system ctl restart data dog hyphen agent done okay so now this is done after that let's check the status of course is running right now so is taking little time see yeah all these things okay now how do we enable the logs now so first thing i told you agent should be enabled for the log so how do we do that so we enable this etc datadog agent datadog yaml file and here go to the bottom sections of this things so let's say i want to go to the bottom section so uh let's go dollar here somewhere bottom section from there go up little bit up because it's a pretty long file so this is the easiest way and else if you remember uh a section log something like that then you can go for that also so i'm just checking it uh this is the open telemetry configurations this is network configurations this is kubernetes configuration this is this is kubernetes again and container integrations cri integrations so hello of into ccs integrations 
and then docker integrations and now container integrations config integrations auto config integrations so a lot of entries are there and this is one merger which i was looking for it login configurations so what you need to do you do need to enable it how do we enable it so for that okay my bad logging and log is a different thing so i was looking for the wrong logging no log configurations so jmx configurations here you have log stash d it's too much actually process collections my god upskit and i think this is the one you can search for it trace and here it is so this is called this section called log collection configurations so agent you need to enable it for collecting the log, log. by default it's disabled so here i have to enable it now we'll say rajesh is already enabled log enable true actually i did it in the last session so by default this line will be commented and false so i just made it will you remember this step all of you hello i'm audible all of you hello yes uh, yes okay so this is the log enable true now this is the lots of other options are there right now just read it and after that you have to restart your agent okay so this is also done you did this step also now you have to go and go and create the configuration for it so where do you create a configuration of course you know that so etc data dog agent conf dot d and here here you have to create a configuration so let me tell you the configuration for collecting the logs you can create you can create in any of this integration but what i decided let's keep all the configuration at one place only so which place so i created one directory look at my screen very carefully <coughs> i created one directory named with this one so this directory is already existing in this web machine so here you go here and here it is now after that i created one file and in the content of the file i have it this way that means if you want to collect the if you want to tell agent hey agent please collect some logs so you have to set you have to use a section for logs after enabling the logs monitoring so here what you want to monitor what you want to collect so here you want to collect some file and the, this path can be anything any files which you can you can allow the agent to collect and send it to data dog with some of the tagging labeling and all stuff like that you can use it okay so if you want more files you can keep adding this entry more and here it can be file it can be tcp here it can be udp also okay so here right now i'm putting a file because we need the file not udp and all and after that start the agent okay so here that is what i'm trying to do so if you see that this file has an entry conf dot yaml and you see logs i'm trying to collect the logs from all the log file inside this directory again file this is access log of apache and this is the access uh, this is the error log of apache so the here environment prod and all the things so this one log two log and few log files from here with some regular expression pattern so now these are the logs i'm collecting through the agent this is enabled actually and after that you have to restart the agent so now did you understand that why this log has come here 
because it was already generating it. My agent was already generating. Did you understand all of you? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. So now the question is we have generated a lot of blocks like that. You can add a more entries actually. It's up to you. So after that, how to use this? How to use this? So this UI you need to learn. So here, that is where this, I think here you have a live trail. You can see the live data which is coming. Okay, so I don't know whether services is running or not. Let me see that. So system, CTL, start, HTTPD, and here watch, curl, HTTP, local host so i'm creating a traffic every two seconds and you see started coming this is http traffic so logs is started see this live trailing actually <coughs> so whatever the traffic i'm making through the curl is coming here so you can see the life you can see from last 15 seconds whichever the log has 15 minutes sorry it has come and you can change that whatever you want so now if you see the left side here you have a lots of options to filter the log so you may have a multiple indexes you can filter by source right now i have a four source apache terminal custom engine if you look at my code here uh, this file here so there i was having the multiple sources see here this is source so you can filter you have a filter by index Filter by source, filter by host, filter by service, filter by status, filter by web access, how, what kind of log, it's browser or client IP or devices or methods, operating systems. These all are automatically pre populated. So, a lot of filters are there. Each line also, click on it, you will see the detail of it. View is in the context. See, it's so a one line you will see. See the look at the search for this pattern. One line you are seeing, and which has everything. See, and you see the host, service, source, all other tags, and has some informations, which machines, and all stuff like that. So, this is the one. Now, if you look at this part, if you look at this part here, so how this has been grouped, the logs can be grouped into, see here, grouped into fields or you want pattern or transaction. Transaction, you won't get it right now because we don't have a multiple services related to each other and session ID and all it's matching, but fields and pattern, you can see that. So if you want to see that, Right now you will see the fields. These are the fields, date, host, service, content, message, all the fields. You can see that here, which is enabled. You can do little bit of operations also like that. Okay, show me the fields. Group into fields, okay? But show what? Count. Count of what? All logs. Or source. Count of source, how many? Two sources are there. Count of what? Host, I think two hosts are there count of uh, environment i think one environment production environment is okay so here just like that if you want to see this some here some particular field and if you want to again buy you want to see that by source you see by by host multiple entries if you have it count of count of all logs by source so total many logs in the last 15 minutes, you have 136 and by source, uh, sorry, by, by host. So here you have by host. So you have a different visualizations. So different, different pictures you may generate as per your requirement. Here you can also remember that in the best practices, I talked about it, pattern matching and detection. So these are the things which we have.
these are the i got a 104 line in last 15 minutes in this pattern and 56 line in this pattern the unique pattern you have it so tool is doing for you and you have to analyze this all this thing and what what you are supposed to do so you remember that one slides i showed you already what you are supposed to do you're supposed to find out the issues in the code this one what to look for in the logs okay so this is the one let me cancel this and transaction transaction you don't have it because it's not multi service so if you look at this here yes you can group the logs by the fields by the patterns by the transitions now also you can see the logs visualize the logs by list times reach top list table and also stuff like that so let's look at this here you can visualize the list which you are seeing here let me cancel this transaction and by times reach here you have a times reach by top number of list which you got it table remap view so different different visualizations you have now the question is this one how do we search for it so i need to talk about the search techniques so whatever you see that uh, you you call it a facade source colon whatever the value that's called a facade host colon service colon status colon all the fields which you use it we call it facade so how do we search for it and that we need to learn a little bit of it so here primarily when you search you can search for the one term actually so single term if you are searching so single term you are searching for example here from last one day here i am searching what uh, let me disable this fails list only i'm searching for anything which is error so how many search results you got it there's no error actually so this is a single term search let's say i'll search for apache and i got apache also is not showing anything uh, should be something else so raj i think i got a two entries <coughs> sorry where the content is having the raj or httpd let me search no http yeah so many entries you have in a http so this is a single search but what about if you search double i mean you want to do the multiple strings what to do so here i search for two things see if i say by raj this will be different but if you want to search by raj like this see so two string you can search like this okay this is the two string now there's a few more patterns which we have so you can use and and or or exclusive and means let me put it in simple way google because i don't have a some so much of data in uh, in 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 uh, data doc but the operators are same acting like say so see here i'm searching devops and find it here devops and dev sec ops here is and operator okay now if you look at the results here for the and these are the results has come so see here here you have a devops also dev sec ops also devops also dev sec ops also here devops also dev sec ops also so here is and operator here and operator but what i'll make it or and let's look at this some of the results and study over there see here so if you see that here is or when you use it so here you have a devops devsecops and here you have a devops devsecops both because maybe this uh, ranking is high but here you see devsecops only okay this is exception ranking is so high so it's being placed so this is something which you have to do 
but you you want to see some exclusion exclusion means here in data doc how do we exclude so here hyphen okay so you can i don't know whether it will work in google and uh, and or is working in google i know that uh, so here i want the devops all the results and not devsecops so can you search for it okay no it's not working in this so yes in this data dog it will work so when you want to search all the logs the the place where we have authentication keyword but not with a password so you can use exclusion so this is the facade you can see auto complete also so the moment you go and search for it here 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 auto complete you'll get it also uh let me refresh it's not coming actually i see here so this auto complete option means it will give you the suggestion what you can write these are the fields by this you can search for it the logs durations and all stuff like that that is also available uh you can use uh a escaping character also let's say you are searching for some of the special character so for that you have to use a escaping character so for that you have to use the forward slash here for example see here you want to search something like a user is equal to jane doe so it's a string actually it's not like something like a face it so how do we how do you set the escaping character this is the escaping character for us okay so you can do the facet search also these are some of the facet search way again this is a range you see 200 to 299 this is a range you want to search for it you can use the regular expression also so use the facet field service colon web star means anything with the service named with web and anything after that is coming give me the results here this is a string search this is also a string search anything starting with a anything ending with web here starting with a web ending with anything so while call searches also you can you can try for it you can also use the numerical values while in searches so this is the first at the rate of http this is the field and it should be greater than give me that all the logs which has a this particular facade has a greater than 100 give me the all the status code the lines with the status code where the code is between the range of 400 to 499 so you can use a less than greater than greater than equal to less than greater than equal to also all these thing you can use it you can also uh, search by tags so okay so that is also possible so this is the log management capability of data row. any questions you guys have any questions okay so next session which we are going to have it which is which is synthetic monitoring and rum monitoring that we'll have in the next after that synthetic and rum will migrate to the setting up the alerts which is here and then after that we'll get to the dashboard okay so any questions before we wrap up the session